Welcome to RagaCool.com. In this video, we'll discuss about Jira, a project management tool, or it can also call as defect reporting tool. Some of the organizations are using this tool for the service management. So it's a multi-purpose tool, which is used for different verticals, sometimes for the incident reporting, sometimes for reporting and defects or bug, or sometimes for the complete project management. So here, We'll talk about in detail what is Jira in 2024. Jira has launched a very interesting features in 2024. We'll see in detail. So don't skip a single part of the video. Otherwise, you might miss important thing. And if you think so, this will be useful. Don't forget to share within your circle. This might help the others to learn interesting topic on Jira. Let's begin. To start with this, you need to have your Jira account. For creating the Jira account, navigate it to the id.atlassian.com and create your free account. Jira is giving you a privilege to create your own account without paying anything. If you are using Jira projects for less than 10 users, you can use the complete products without paying a single penny forever. This is a cloud account. By the way, this is also available in data center as well as server version. If you wanted to create data center and server versions account, make sure to follow my data center playlist, which will guide you through how we can create a free account in data center. As I mentioned, whenever you want to start, create your cloud account from id.atlassian.com and then proceed it further. Once you'll create your account based on the permissions, you will see this page where you can create your projects. If you want to create the projects, simple steps, you have to follow it. There are different templates are available. What is the purpose of these templates? These templates are helping you to make your life easier. This is a customized templates created by the Atlassian or created by the Jira team to help you in such a way where some of the fields are automatically defined or already defined. You don't have to worry about it. If you are using these templates, you don't have to create from scratch and this is divided into the different verticals. If you're working as a software developer or if you wanted to use this as software development project management tool, then definitely go ahead with the software development where you will have three different templates. One, the Kanban, Scrum and top level planning. Totally depending on your requirement, select any of those projects and proceed it further. There's no hurdles and long with this. Whenever you want to create, you can create multi-templates as well. If you're working as a service management, where you can create your blank projects for IT teams, blank project for business team, IT service management, general service management, everything you have. If you're working as a task tracking, project management tracking, or new employee onboarding, you can use this. There are plenty of templates divided into several folders. My main purpose is to create for project management where I wanted to use Agile. Here, I will proceed with the Scrum board. The Scrum templates help me to get issue types configured. That is epic, story, bug, task, and subtask. Next, we have the workflow having status to do in progress and done. These are by defaults. And we can also customize this according to our project requirements. So Jira is such a product where you can customize totally up to your need. So make sure to create this templates and then customize it according to your team size, according to your project requirement, according to the work which you want to perform. If you wanted to add more number of issue types, it's very easy and quick way. Just you need administrator permissions or proper permissions in place so that you can create this account easily. 
as of now i'm selecting this templates totally depending on your interest you can select these templates and create your projects next part is whenever you're creating a project you will get team managed or company managed there are several factors are involved whenever you're selecting this you need to have the proper information about it where to use team managed and where to use company managed when we are using team managed the complete control within your hands it means if you're working as a scrum master or, or project manager you will have a complete control where there's a no administrator you will get proper selections when we are using this field when we have the team size lesser and one person is taking the responsibility of multiple positions it means scrum master project manager and mid it one person is handling all three responsibility when we have the team size smaller it's well suited to adopt the team manage project where you will have the complete control in your hand where you can customize it this projects according to your need whenever you want to change the fields custom fields create a workflow changing positions changing roles and responsibility everything within your hands when you have bigger team size and you have in house administrator available make sure to use company manage where single bit of informations for update you need to request with your administrator any informations you wanted to update or any rules and regulations you want to add within a project you have to always reach out to your administrator these are the factors here so team manage projects anyone within your team can set up and maintain where that person should have the proper knowledge about this project management tool settings do not impact other projects it means team managed projects are having their own set of settings which will be not impacted if you change anything within your projects it is not going to impact to other projects it's easy to set up for issue types and custom fields simple configurations and multiple workflows access label permissions are available when we are selecting the company managed projects set up and maintained by a jira admins where you need to have the proper administrator in place standardized configurations shared across the projects complete control over issue types and the custom fields where administrator will manage each and everything and you don't have to worry about it customizable workflow status and issues transitions and detailed permissions team you can set it up here we'll go ahead with the select company managed projects provide the name of your projects totally depending on your project requirement let's consider we wanted to build ai based applications for that i'm creating this project management tool ai projects i'm just giving ai projects and by default automatically it will start giving you a suggestions for key it always suggests a unique key but if you are changing make sure this is unique and memorable whenever you want you can use this key for the automations rest api or for any api calls any automations rules you need always this key and after creating the projects you won't be able to update this field make sure you can set the key in the initially otherwise when you are changing the project informations you won't be able to update it now we are done let's go ahead with the next it will take few seconds and after that we'll give you in pop up if you already have the confluence account and you wanted to integrate within this you can do it even if you wanted to do it post projects or when you will go inside the projects then also you are able to do it but if you have the account you can connect it once we'll click on continue this will navigate us to active sprint page where you can see this is the wizard this is the timeline or road map whenever you want to see the detailed road map of your projects you can navigate it to today's weekly monthly and quarterly phases this is a complete road map of your projects in backlog sections all the items which is created or prioritized for the further developments will be added here the main responsibility of backlog is for the product owner 
the product owner who is going to maintain this backlog and prioritize the items according to the product or project roadmap. In active sprints, whenever you will create any sprints and add the number of items to be delivered within that sprint, you can see those items available here. Unless and until your sprints are not active, you won't be able to see anything. Here you can see to do, which is one stage in progress is other and done is. If you want to create any other stages, you can create it like UAT. You can always add it. Now UAT phase is added. So accordingly, you can always set it up. You can also add the filters to see the results as per your need like none assignee stories projects and everything you can also customize the view settings according to your customizations this data will display here there are a lot of fields are available you can create quick filters and apply swim lanes and everything if you don't know what each and everything make sure to follow my complete jira playlist i've already created lot of content related to that more than 100 videos. If you will search with the name Rai Gurkul, you will see the complete playlist are available here. Whenever you will navigate into the playlist sections, you can see Jira playlist, complete Jira playlist is available here where I have already created more than 100 plus videos. You can see the complete playlist listed here. Each of the videos are having detailed descriptions. I have covered almost all the concepts about Jira. So feel free to refer this playlist. I will add the URL in description tab. It will be helpful for you to refer easily. Coming back to the topic, I was talking about this where you can see report sections. So whenever your project is done or some of the sprints are done, you can always generate the report where you will have plenty of reports available like pie charts, average age reports, epic burndown, release burndown, control charts, everything is here. In goal sections, you can always set up your goals. Here, you will have the goal setting page. If you have not integrated with Atlas account, you won't be able to see the goal settings. But if you have the integrations, please always use this. Issues, if you wanted to see the complete issue list, you can see all the issue lists are listed here. When you are using premium versions, you will also get one more options where you can do the planning. So complete planning is listed in the menu items. Even you can invite your team members. You can see detailed dashboards if you wanted to generate the dashboards as the list of the items. And this is quick to view dashboards are available. Inside the filters, whichever filters you will create, all those will be listed here. I'm not covering each and everything because I have already created. I just wanted to show you how it looks in 2024. So Jira is keeps updating their products totally depending on the customer feedback, product feedback or the user feedback They keeps enhancing it. So you always find this too is new. In terms of settings, you will always have system settings, product settings, project settings, issues and apps. Under the app sections, you will find it out 3000 plus third party applications are available. Again, this is making your life easier when you wanted to use this product. Inside the project sections, you will see all the projects added within your account. If you have the permissions, you will be able to see. Otherwise, you will find each and every project listed within your account. In your box sections, you can see which all issues are assigned to you. Recent issue items, board, queue and alerts. Coming back to creation of the issues. Whenever you click on create issue, you will see this window where you have to select your active projects. Under this, you can select any issue types. These E2 types are totally depending on your project requirement. If you wanted to create story, you can just select the story, add the story items totally depending on your products or applications which you wanted to target. Now here, let's consider we wanted to build API request method because this is an AI project. That's the reason I'm just adding here. 
if you want to tag with any parent item that is epic so you can select these items else skip this part add the descriptions what you are looking for or what you wanted to build here as a part of product owner you can write as a PO I want post and get method in my application and then provide the detailed information about it how it looks how you can generate the get method how you can generate the post method the format should be clear the more information you add will be much easier for your developers to build this type of applications next is who is reporting once if you are the reporter you wanted to assign someone you can just keep your name here and whom you wanted to assign you can add the assignee name so it means the external person name if you have a specific team you can select the team name then labels if you wanted to use any of those labels to tag this if you are having any attachments like documents pdf or video files upload this file next is uh link issues if you have any spend in each in which sprint you want and click on create this issue will be created successfully now this is our issues descriptions here at any point of time you wanted to update any of the details you can always do that if you want to attach some more documentations you can always select the additional documents and attach it if you wanted to create subtask or the smaller instance of the story you can create it there are several other options are also available here you can change the assignee name priority of the issues and you already have some more fields which is listed here so totally up to you which all informations you wanted to update you can always do it if you want to convert this story to subtask you can also do it if you want to move this issues into some other projects that is also possible if you want to create a replica of the same issues you can create clone delete then print export into the xml all those are self-explanatory at any point of time you wanted to add some comments you can always do that click on save now here you always have some other options like adding flag log work and if you wanted to check history you can see who has updated recently who did some work logs and all and by mistake if you've added some extra images or documentations you can always delete it here you can switch distribute download all or delete all everything is doable in the plus icon you will see additional attachments you can attach it if you wanted to create page for same you can also do it so this is how you can create your projects customize it create any issue types as well as do the modifications in jira this is very much easy platform to use it for defect reporting incident management as well as project management that's all for this video hope you enjoyed the content if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share with the new circle and if you want to learn a new concept or topic with me feel free to add the topic name in comments so that i will be definitely create videos and share with you that's all thank you for watching